Hello, Grade 9 students. Thank you for viewing. This presentation will allow you to identify at least five communication devices that are used with computer networks in today's society. You'll be able to describe correctly at least three communication software that are used in computer networks and compare at least four uses of communication technologies in different types of networks. These objectives are taken from the National Standards Curriculum for Information Technology. Continue to watch and build your vocabulary. What is a communication device? This is any hardware that transmits data, instructions, and information between sending devices and receiving devices. These are examples of communication devices. What is the function of a communication device? This is a device that is used to convert digital signals to analog signals or analog signals to digital signals. What is a hub? This is a communication device that provides a central point for cables to connect devices together on a network. It receives data from many directions and then forwards it to one or more directions. What is a rotor? This is a communication device that connects many computers or other rotors together in order to transmit data to its correct destination on a network. What is wireless access point? This is a communication device that allows computers and devices to transfer data wirelessly among themselves or transfer data wirelessly to a wired network. Switch. This is a communication device that facilitates the sharing of resources by connecting other devices on a network, for example, computers, printers, servers, etc. It is also called a switching hub or a bridging hub. What is a network interface card? This is a communication device or an adapter that is fitted on a motherboard to enable a computer user to connect cables to a computer so that he or she can share information via a network. Network interface card is usually referred to as NIC card. What is dial-up modem? This is a communication device that converts a computer's digital signals to analog signals and analog signals to digital signals. What is a digital modem? This is a communication device that sends and receives data or information to and from a digital line. Examples of digital modems are ISDN modem, DSL modem and cable modem. What is cable modem? This is a communication device that sends and receives data over cable television network. It is also referred to as broadband modem and it transmits data at a speed that is faster than the dial-up or ISDN modem. What is communication software? This is a computer program that enables the exchange of files or messages in the form of text, audio, and video formats between different computers or networks. It includes chat room, news group, groupware, email, instant messages, web browsers, video conferencing, file transfer protocol, etc. 
What is a chat room? This is a type of communication software that permits computer users to chat with each other via the computer on specific topics such as dance or music or talk show. Some chat rooms support voice chats and video chats, which is usually a live conversation. This group is a type of communication software that allows discussion to take place online on a particular topic. It is usually in the form of electronic messages called postings. Users are able to send messages to the news group and other users in the group can read and reply to those messages that are posted. Groupware is a communication software that helps a group of people to work together and share information over a network. It provides personal information such as address and appointment calendar. In a group, if multiple persons set a particular date on the calendar, it will track the schedules and coordinate appointments and meeting time. Electronic mail. This is a communication software that enables the transmission of messages via the computer network, such as a local area network or the internet. It can be in the form of text and includes attachments such as video clips or images. Instant messaging. This is usually done in real time. It's a real time communication service that notifies you when one person is online and allows you to exchange messages or file with them in real time. Web browser. This is a communication software often called the browser. It allows you to access and view web pages on the World Wide Web. Examples of web browsers include Internet Explorer, Chrome, Nesky, Video conferencing is a type of communication software that allows meeting to take place between two or more persons who uses a local area network or the internet to transmit data in the form of audio or video. To participate in a video conference, you will need a video conferencing software along with a microphone, a speaker, or a video camera attached to your computer system. What is communication technologies? This include texting, sending emails, blogging, sending instant messages, social networking, video conferencing, and tweeting. These technological resources make it possible for people to communicate and communication is even more accessible and convenient. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something new.